Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate the molar mass of an unknown compound from freezing point depression. This is a freezing point depression formula given delta Tf is equal to I into Kf into M and uh, delta Tf is freezing point depression, I is one of factors, Kf is freezing point depression constant, M is the molality. This is the another form of the same formula given. You can use any of these formula. Both formulas are same and here you can see that I have mentioned the labeling. Delta Tf is uh, freezing point depression. I is one of factors. Kf is molar freezing point depression constant and uh, small w is mass of sol uh, solute. It is in calculated gram. And uh, M is molar mass of non-volatile solute and uh, capital W is the mass of solvent, it is used in gram. In this problem, I will show you how you can calculate the molar mass of an unknown compound by using this formula. You can use any of these formula and you will get the same value. Here the problem says that when 12.0 gram of an unknown non-electrolyte compound, you can see that non-electrolyte compound is there and its mass is given, are dissolved in 400.0 gram benzene. This is the solute and this is the solvent and when solute is added to solvent, solution is formed and then it says further that the freezing point of the resulting solution the solution which is formed for that the freezing point of the resulting solution is 3.90 degree C the freezing point of the solution is given the question further says that the freezing point of the pure solvent benzene is 5.44 degree C and it asks to calculate the molar mass of the known compound means we have to calculate the molar mass of the solute M value here you can see that a non-electrolyte solute is added to solvent and when non-electrolyte solute is added to solvent the freezing point of the pure solvent decreases that's why the freezing point of the solution is less than less than the freezing point of the benzene from this data we can calculate the freezing point uh, depression that is the change in temperature delta Tf formula is delta Tf, Tf is equal to freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution. The freezing point of the solvent is 5.44, 5.44 degree C minus the freezing point of the solution that is 3.90 degree C. We can do the subtraction, the value which we, which we get here we have 5.44 and minus 3.90. The value which we get that is 1.4. 1.54 and it is degree Celsius. So here you can see that when the non-electrolyte solute is added to solvent, the freezing point of the solvent decreases by 1.54. Now we can use any of this formula to calculate molar mass. I pick up this formula to calculate molar mass of the compounds. We have delta Tf, delta Tf value we got that is 1.54. 1.54 degree C is equal to and say so I value I value for non electrolyte compound is 1 because it does not uh, dissociate it into ions here we have 1 and so then Kf value Kf value is given here of the solvent 5.12 and so it is uh, degree C per molality multiplied by the mass of the solute is given mass of solute is 12.0 12 gram upon the at molar mass molar mass of the uh, solute m this is what we are going to calculate and uh, then we have 1000 and it is divided by the mass of the solvent the benzene is solvent and its mass is 400.0 400.0 and gram 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 will cancel out degree c degree c will cancel out now we can do the calculation and calculate the m value here we have 1.54 1.54 is equal to 5.12 at the top 12.0 multiplied by 1000 and at the bottom the value which we have that is 400.0 and it is m that is the molar mass now we can do the cross multiplication to find out uh, m value we can uh, uh, transfer m on left side here we have m and so we can transfer this value on right side then the set of which we get 5.12 multiplied by 12.0 multiplied by 1 
uh, sorry it is 1000 here we have 1000 and say so at the bottom we have 400.0 multiplied by 1.54 then we can do uh, multiply the top values here we have 5.12 and so then multiplied by 12.0 12.0 and multiplied by 1000 and the value which we get that is 61,440 here we have 61,440 and divided by the bottom value we have 400 sorry it is 400 0 and multiplied by 1.54 the value which, which we get that is uh, 616 616 and so we can divide these values at the top we have 61440 and it is divided by 616 and the value which we get that is 99.74 99.74 this is the molar mass of the unknown compound its unit is gram per mole you can see that how I calculated the molar mass of the unknown compound by using freezing point depression formula. First, I calculated delta Tf, freezing point depression value, from the freezing point of solvent and uh, solution. Then I calculated the molar mass M value. Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IITJE or NEET exams, Please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.